Yo, yo, it's the kid, 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 man. Coming in here for another beautiful Ultimate Battles. And for me, I am putting out two of what I believe are perhaps the best consoles ever, you know, for a myriad of reasons. This is just down to me. This is what I feel are the two best consoles that I've experienced. That, of course, is the PS2 and the Xbox 360. So let's get it on, man. So first of all, games. So again, this is really about which console had the best games overall. So not just like the AAA titles. I'm looking for... This is this is much more about quantity mixed in with quality. So not just like five amazing games like the PS3 had and then about 100 great games. But do you have 10 amazing games? 50 amazing games? 100 good games? You know, and so on and so forth. Um, I think this one is pretty substantial. 360 had some quality games. Okay, this is some quality games. Again, like it's had some of my favorites. <laughs> you want to roll in with your boy Skyrim, you want to roll in with your boy Mass Effect and, and so forth. It has some big time games. PS2 had too many heavy hitters. GTA 3, GTA Vice City, um, flipping MGS2, and um, flipping, um, what was what was, what was it called? Um, Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. And Jack and Daxter, it just kept on reeling out the games again and again and again and again. Also, I think Shadow of the Colossus, there were too many quality games that PS2 had and they were just years into the, the, the PS2's um, lifetime, it kept on reeling off games. So just, and the amount of choice you had for a, a, a game with PS2 was, was, was too much. It is impossible. Whoever you are, whatever your interests were, not to actually find a game that you were really into during the PS2's lifetime. Where I don't think that was the same with the 360. 360 just couldn't compete with the amount and volume of quality. Not just volume of volume of quality games the PS2 had. So for games, I'm giving it to PS2. Impact. Now, let's understand this right now. Let's understand this right now. This is in terms of when it got released, how much did it change things? What, how much stuff got shook up? What kind of shake up and things did it do when it's landed down and, and arrived? So that's what I'm, 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 I'm talking about here. So you have to be very clear when I say that about what, what this did. And there are arguments for both. Again, I consider the PS2 the greatest console of all time. So that in itself is an amazing impact with regards to how it's literally stole and took all of the Nintendo users, the Sega users, and pretty much everybody were singing the tune of the of the PS2. You know, Xbox was a new kid in the block. Well, now let's all ride with the PS2. But for the 360 as well, this took online gaming to the next level, and this made Microsoft a big player. And it did what nobody thought. Nobody thought it took down Sony. Because people are seeing that Sony would be the mainstay monopoly fully based on the success of the PS2. But and with the Xbox, first Xbox not only really doing that much quality stuff, but the 360 came and destroyed the PS3. So for impact, I'm gonna have to go with the 360. And because and the reason why I'm going with the 360 is the 360 literally single-handedly made Microsoft a massive player. And I just think that, first of all, it was needed because again, I just think like in if we win, the more competition there is, we win as the con consumer. And I just think that whether you want to talk about the online gaming, the games that were in introduced and the different things that Microsoft were doing that was different from Sony, I just think that it's offered many interesting things. And I do believe that even when you're looking for the PS3, but specifically even the, the PS4, specifically the PS4, I do think that Sony definitely took a leaf out of what um, 360 were doing, especially on the online tip. So I just think for the, 360 brought in a lot of new, interesting features to gaming that cannot be denied. So for the impact, I'm arrived with the, with the 360. Menu interface. Um... I think this is this is a pretty clear one here. This is a pretty clear one here, and I think one hundred percent, one thousand percent is a three sixty. I don't think the PS two was really about getting the many interfaces. And let's just be real, because people may say, "Oh no, this is unfair," because during the um, the PS two era, consoles were not big on many interfaces. But you know what? 
Even if this was PS3, 360 would win. Even if this was PS4, 360 would still win. What Microsoft would do better than any console in history is the quality of the navigation and the menu interface. From having your avatar, the ease with which you can go to, um, we can find your friends, you can find it, um, the Xbox online store, you can find your games, your downloadable games. The interface organization is outstanding, out flipping standing, and it totally destroys the menu interface for any other console that has existed. So for menu interface, 360 win it, and it will win it against any console from any generation. Controller. I put a take on, on one 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 in this ball. I've got to think on this one right now. Both of these were quality controllers. Both of these were quite quality controllers. And what and the reason why I have to give a lot of kudos for the 360 controller was how much it improved upon the horrendous brick that was the Xbox controller, the first Xbox. Well, literally, it was about this, this, this big. So the 360 controller was really good. It was really good, you know. Um, but I'm going to go with one that just when you feel it, it just feels perfect. The PS2. I'm going to go with the PS2. And, you know, the, the, the controller is so good on the PS2, they pretty much haven't changed it. From the PS2 to the PS4, because they just hit such an amazing sweet spot with the PS2. And they just were able to advance things from the PS1 that... Because literally, it is just the perfect dim dimensions for your hands. The buttons just feel amazing. And just everything just works really well. It is literally the perfect size. Ill to the inch and everything, it is perfectly formed. But it is very close because the 360 controller is amazing. amazing but I'm going to give it to the PS2. Durability. This is easy. This is easy. Um, R O D. No, sorry, no, sorry. No, sorry. R R O D. Four letters. R R O D. Red Ring of Death. As good as the 360 was, and as much as I loved it, one of its biggest flaws was that Red Ring of Death, man. I mean, the amount of times that 360 would go under, I think I was told we have to put the 360 upside down and wrap a towel around it and all this crazy stuff. But the PS2 never had those issues. See, the PS1 used to have some of, some of those issues. But I think one of the things that people have to give the PS2 for was for a console that, that you could use for so long, it never really broke down. And people gamed like hell on the whole thing, but it never really broke down. So durability, this is easy, 100% PS2. Longevity. Uh, there's, 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 there's nothing to discuss here. There's, there's, there's nothing to discuss here. This is one attribute that no other console will, will, will beat this on. PS2 by a flipping marathon mile man. Um, the PS2 longevity was stupid. There were people still playing this epping console, even in new generations. People were still playing the PS2 when the PS3 came out. If you go to some people's cribs today, they probably still have a PS2 rather, rather than having a, a, a PS4 or, or, any, or any other console. So 1000%, the longevity attributes I have to ride with the PS2. So long, 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 like 360's longevity was pretty good. It was pretty good. But I think with the breakdowns of the consoles and everything, people just couldn't wait for the Xbox One to, to come and say what, what's up. So for the longevity, easily PS2. Um, and design. This is close. This is close because both of these have pretty damn good designs. I feel out of all of the Xboxes that have been released, the 360 is the best design. The 360 is a much better design than the Xbox One, you know. Um, and I think out of all of the ones that have been released, I believe the PS2 is still the sexiest, best design. PS4 is, is, is pretty cool. PS2 was uh, PS4 is a pretty nice design, but I think, you know, um, no, PS4 is pretty nice. But I think the, the, the PS2 was far more stylish. So for design, I have to go and roll with the PS2. That, like, the craft, even when I first saw it, I was like, this looks like nothing I've ever seen before. So, because it doesn't even look, it doesn't even look like a standard console. 
You know, like P the PS1 just looked like, yeah, this is like, okay. It's very different from the Nintendos and everything, but it looks like a console. PS2 just look, it looks like a spaceship. It looks like a specific kind of um, advanced futuristic device. So just how someone was able to think of something that looks so cool, so intricate, so interesting, and it was durable and it worked, I just think was a flipping game changer. So for design, I'm rolling with there with the PS2. So there we have it there. So one, two, three, four, five. So five to two. 5 to 2, the PS2 gets this over the 360, man. So, yeah, man, it is what it is, man. So, look, man, if you want me to do any other console battles, gaming battles, or so forth, put it down below. This is an ultimate battle where anybody can play and face against anybody. Peace out, stay true. Watch out for the next edition of Ultimate Battles.